The all-new Laurel Park is beyond your expectations. Feel the anticipation. Hi, Laurel Park Racing fans, and welcome to our replay show for Saturday afternoon. It's Commonwealth Day here at Laurel Park, and the weather cooperating with a fast track, uh, but we're off the turf on this Saturday afternoon. Temperature going into the mid-80s, light and variable winds, so much better weather ahead today and for Sunday afternoon's card here at Laurel Park with a post time at 110. Four stakes races on Commonwealth Day. We'll have the Camp Town, the William Backer, the Hansel, and the Meadow Stable Stakes. Again, we're off the turf for this Saturday card here at Laurel Park. Fast on the main track, here's the opener, the first leg of the early pick five. In the gate. In there, up. Uh, Dragonthorn Steed and Seattle Rick Lunar Boogie the outside. Here's Trooping the Color up there within three of the early pace. And Vincent Van Gogo is next. And Arkadag, Stormy Patriot in the back. About 13 lengths will cover the field. So Dragonthorn Steed on the outside of the rail is Seattle Rick in a head to head battle for the early advantage with Lunar Boogie tracking out of the clear off the rail in third position. Trooping the Color, Vincent Van Gogo. Arkadag is some seven lengths off the duel up ahead. And Stormy Patriot is last. Opening quarter in 24.04 as leading the way Seattle Rick and Dragon Thornsteed of the outside still matching strides from Lunar Boogie in third position. Vincent Van Gogo, Arkadag trying to work up past Trooping the Color and Stormy Patriot still in the back. Into the far turn, not much change. Seattle Rick, Dragon Thornsteed with Lunar Boogie tracking a 47.48 half mile. Then a gap of two more lengths and Vincent Van Gogo is on the go. Vincent Van Gogo now looming up fourth on the inside and Arkadag Dag has improved now within three of the front as they reach the top of the stretch. Making the turn for home, it's Seattle Rick Dragon Thornsteed. Here's Arca Dag on the outside. Vincent Van Gogo slipping through down to the inside. Vincent Van Gogo, Montanez took that rail home and opens up now two lengths on Arca Dag second and Lunar Boogie in third. For a long and a half to run, Vincent Van Gogo goes in front by two lengths. Arca Dag, then Lunar Boogie third. Last for long, Vincent Van Gogo. Vincent Van Gogo two and a half clear from Arca Dag then Lunar Boogie. Vincent Van Gogo to the winner's circle. Vincent Van Gogo by three from Arca Dag second. Then Lunar Boogie, Seattle Rick Stormy. off. Will Mischievous Dan and Mythos all the way together with Junction on the far outside up close to a little wide that first turn run. There is Junction up there three deep around that turn. So it's Will with Junction, Mischievous Dan, the top three. If all by Mythos is racing in fourth, another two and a half and Brother Slick Nick, second last position and Trailing the field is Mid-Ocean, so leading the way now, Junction. Junction with seven ace to go, gets the lead from Will by a little more than a length, and Mischievous Dan, the two-path now third, and Mythos is in fourth. 
Brother Slick Nick a little bit tough to handle there in fifth position. Another two and a half lengths in mid-ocean trailing the field. It's Junction showing the way. The opening quarter went at 25.15 as they head over the far turn run. And so Junction gets away. Junction now opening up and bounding along by five. The half in 48.89. And here is Junction. Junction rolls along and opens now at eight length lead on Will in second and Mythos is in third, followed by Mischievous Dan racing fourth. Brother Slick Nick in mid-ocean is still last into the far turn run. Where it is, Junction. Junction now a five-length lead. Mythos bidding up and Will is in third. And Mischievous Dan is back and forth in mid-ocean and Brother Slick Nick has dropped to last position. Two and a half furlongs left to go. They're catching Junction. Mythos with the first run on the outside. Will willingly saving ground from third with a quarter of a mile left to go. And here is Mythos on the outside. Mythos Junction fully extended and second. Then Will is third, trying to take second at the 360s as Mythos is in front. Mythos from Junction drifting a bit now as Will is flattened out of the final furlong. Mythos and Ezekiel Lara. Mythos pouring Last it on. 16th of a mile to widen to win by six, maybe seven lengths. Here's Mythos. Mythos Junction, then Will. Mischievous Dan. And they're off in the Kent Town. Well, bless Altamora's ass for early speed. And Altamora's in front from Northern Eclipse, a second uphill battle to favorite away in third. And well, bless back and forth in between. What the beat Virginia fable on the outside. Then do what I say and sister says is eighth and last. Seven lengths will cover that field with less than four furlongs to go. It is Altamora tested by uphill battle on the outside. Around that far turn, three lengths and clear, clear from what the beep. And Northern Eclipse is in fourth. Virginia fable, well, bless. Then do what I say and sister says trailing the field quarter mile went at 22.37 contested seconds with Altimer and uphill battle still in the battle together they're head to head at the top of the lane what the beep is third has aim on the duel into the stretch uphill battle and Altimer is dead game and coming back for more Altimer has got more response on the inside uphill battle up against it now here's what the beep on the outside what the beep coming at Altimer who's kicked away Altimer in front Altimer by two it's Channing Hill and Altimer Altamora to win a length and a quarter. What the beat was second, uphill battle was third, then two.
off of the backer stakes. Secret or not, S for early speed. Polito on the outside. Queen Caroline and Street Miz right there in the early mix, too. And Complete Saint is guided off the inside as they exit the chute where Secret or not leads the way. Secret or not in front of the backer stakes. Leading favorite Polito's on the outside of the clear. Queen Caroline tucked into the rail in third. And Street Miz is in fourth. And Complete Saint. Only five lengths will cover them in the opening quarter, went in 24.37. Five and a half furlongs to go to the second wire. And Secret or not sets the tempo from Paulita by three quarters of a length. Queen Caroline remaining on the inside in third position and Street Miz and Complete Saint outside. Into the turn run and it's still Secret or Not. Secret or Not by a neck as they round that turn from Paulita and Secret or Not Paulita 48.38 half mile into the turn and Queen Caroline looks to have a little bit of run there from third and they're followed by Street Miz is in fourth and Complete Saint is in fifth. About three furlongs left to go. Secret or not, Paulita on the outside asks for a little more to come to even terms. The outside now, Paulita. Paulita and Centeno. They're up top now. Get a little tap to go on with a quarter of a mile to go. Taking a peek to the outside. He sees Queen Caroline coming after her. It's Paulita, Queen Caroline. Paulita's got some kick from Queen Caroline. Secret or not, back third position. A furlong left to go. Queen Caroline keeps on charging. Paulita is digging. Paulita, length and change in front. It's Paulita with a 16th to go. Paulita fending off Queen Caroline to take the William Becker. Paulita from Queen Caroline to win it by two lengths. Third was Secret or Not. And then Street Miz and Complete Saint. And they're off. Give me some truth. Powell's got early speed on the outside as Hall Pass coming to chime in with early foot two. Seven of the Rocks is in fourth. That would be Grand is in fifth. The Happy Giant racing in six, only four off the lead. Another six of seven back in Mega Bucks, and he's pretty clever. The two in the back, they're out kicked early by the speed up ahead as Powell takes the lead. Powell pushed hard by Hall Pass into the turn. Would give me some truth in third. Another five, that would be Grand is trying to level off there from four. Seven of the Rocks is in fifth. And the Happy Giant next, he's pretty clever. Clever and Mega Bucks is last. 22.44 was that opening quarter mile. They reached the top of the stretch. More than a quarter of a mile to go now, and it's Powell just in front. Hall passes second. Give me some truth. The outside there is that would be Grand way out in the center of the track. But Powell kicks on for home. Powell opens up a couple of lengths. Hall pass. Then that would be Grand out of the middle of the track. And give me some truth out of the rail. Very willing to. That would be Grand takes the lead from Powell with a 16th to go. That would be Grand Powell. And give me some truth in time. Still running a big one. And a hall pass there in the show photo. That would be Grand Powell. And hall pass, give me some truth. And seven on the rocks. Finish fifth.
Four to five, River Deep. And they're off here to Hansel. Sharp beginning for the favorite River Deep is directly to the front from Carbon Data and Jump Ship. And then in the inside is Speed Gracer, Whiskey Woo, and last is Officer's Oath. So there is River Deep, who opens up about a length and a half or so as they leave the shoot out of the main portion of the track. Carbon Data is right there in close attendance in second and Jump Ship on the outside of Speed Gracer. Another two and a half and it's Whiskey Woo and Officer's Oath on the outside. Six and a half lengths will cover the field. River Deep at a sensible pace out there from Carbon Data and Speed Gracer's up close to the inside and Jump Ship is in fourth and Whiskey Woo and Officer's Oath. 24.42 is that easy opening quarter mile for River Deep who heads on for the far turn with a lead. River Deep's in front from Carbon Data about a length. River Deep from Carbon Data as they round the turn to half in 48.27. So with three and a half furlongs to go, River Deep Carbon Data. Jump Ship is in third. Speed Gracer being asked to keep up there from fourth and Officer's Oath and Whiskey Woo is last. So it's been River Deep from the start. River Deep pursued by Carbon Data as they turn in and jump ship on the far outside, racing in third, turning for home a quarter of a mile left to go. River Deep trying to pour it on now after six and one, 12.71. Now is open to three length lead and River Deep is kept to task by Sheldon Russell, doing it willingly and widening now to five, six on top from Carbon Data with an eighth of a mile left to go. Jump ship is third, then Speed Gracer, fourth of Whiskey Woo. And here is River Deep, a popular score for River Deep running away. River Deep from Carbon Data by maybe seven on the line. Jump Ship was next. Then it was Speed Gracer. Away the Meadow Stable Stakes. Fly Dubai missed the break just a beat. Determined Vision Homespun Hero. Limehouse Louis sent along early and Fly E Dubai now passing that one on the outside to take the third position. So it's Homespun Hero in the duel with Determined Vision nose to nose to the far turn run and Fly E Dubai is on the outside of Limehouse Louis. Three and a half covers him into the far turn run. Determined Vision Homespun Hero down to the inside exchanging the lead and Fly E Dubai getting a bit closer after 22 points. 49 opening quarter mile and last is Limehouse Louie swinging toward the quarter pole now determined vision homespun hero down to the inside fly E Dubai gradually joining them up there three wide to make three in a line as they turn in fly E Dubai determined vision between nearest the rail is homespun hero trying to stay on as well through the final furlong fly E Dubai homespun hero determined vision in between horses still willing it's homespun hero coming back for more and Daniel Santino and homespun hero Homespun Hero at 4 to 1 in the Meadow Stable Stakes from Determined Vision to win a length. Fly E Dubai Limehouse Louis. Two, three.
set. And they're off. Going for the lead is Big Bad Ben. The inside is Bad Angle Burke, early speed, and Patriotic Quest right there, too. Upper Crown moves up on the inside. A Wildly Clever is now between, and Native Floor on the outside. And my pal Jerry is outgunned early by the speed up ahead. A Big Bad Ben rolls right along, a neck in front from Patriotic Quest, and Bad Angle Burke third to the inside. And Upper Crown's now in between Orises, only three from the front, and Native Floor on the three path racing along in fifth. Wildly Clever just in behind that group, and my pal Jerry last to late lengths to make up into the far turn run 22.97 a dueling opening quarter mile as his patriotic quest on the outside now grabs a narrow lead from big bad Ben two and a half and bad angle Burke upper crown working harder from fourth wildly clever is too beaten at this point as my pal Jerry slipping through the inside and native floor of the back of the pack 46.31 was the half mile coming to the top of the stretch patriotic quest from bad angle Burke driving hard to the outside my pal Jerry shifting off that rail and trying to come after the leaders now out in the middle of the track trying to close the gap as well as wildly clever wildly clever is getting going with the final furlong wildly clever with all the momentum on the outside wildly clever patriotic quest bad angle burke and next is my pal jerry it's wildly clever and forest boys wildly clever from off the pace to win going away two and a half in front from bad angle burke in the photo my pal jerry in that photo too with bad angle burke then patriotic quest upper crown They're off. Mila Jane, Grease Lightning, and also La Contessa away in solid order. The outside there is uh, caught about four wide, you wish. You wish is on the far outside. So it is Mila Jane just in front from La Contessa, and you wish on the outside to join. Grease Lightning settles back in the fourth spot of the rail. Two and a half more. Alma's Diamond Diva. Here's Stella B, racing only four and a half from the front, and Shikor is the trailer. So racing along now with You Wish, You Wish in front. You Wish nursed along six furlongs to go for Mila Jane in second, and La Contessa is third. Grease Lightning racing fourth, the handy fourth to the inside. Now back to Stella B, Emma's Diamond Diva, and Shikor. Not a lot of pace on, 23.76 is that opening quarter mile. It's You Wish in front. You Wish setting a steady pace, three quarters of a length from Mila Jane in second. The outside La Contessa. Grease Lightning is now placed in between horses for a bid. Another two, Stella B has three and a half to close in as they round the far turn. As Mila Jane comes to take over the lead, you wish getting out a little bit there. Grease Lightning now moving through to the inside. Then back at the outside is La Contessa, Emma's Diamond Diva, and Stella B and Shikor. Half was 48.44, six and 113.20, top of the stretch where Mila Jane takes them on for home. Grease, Lightning, set down and driving from second. Emma's Diamond Diva is in third. Not much from Stella B at all. She's almost dropped back to last. A furlong left to go. It's Mila Jane. Mila Jane doing it willingly. The riders drop the stick, but no stick necessary because Mila Jane's just going to pose for the picture with Carlos Carrasco. Mila Jane from Emma's Diamond Diva. And then Grease, Lightning was third. Shikor and Stella B.
and they're off. Be back Fusion Exchange. Here's on the outside Midnight Cry and Crazy Wild Bill stoking up early speed as well. So it is B back now and Crazy Wild Bill matching strides. Midnight Cry is next in third position. George Gramas from a between horses in fourth. Fusion Exchange Army Gray racing out about four deep out of the clear. And back to Voodoo and tap it on the side. They're about six or seven during the front and a lot of wine. A lot of wine with a lot to do at this point. A lot of wine is last and some 14 off that pace up ahead is Crazy Wild Bill in a 22.70. Opening quarter mile leads the way length and a half from Midnight Cry and Be Back Fusion Exchange. Army Gray is in fifth, another two and a half, and tap it on the side. Voo Dude at the inside. And George Gramas and a lot of wine trailing the field at the quarter pole. The half went in 46.32. They're into the stretch. Be Back comes back. Crazy Wild Bill battling to stay. Fusion Exchange out in the center of the track. Army Gray tap it on the side is trying to find a bit of racing room just in behind and down to that last eighth of a mile it's be back in front fusion exchange on the outside drifting a little be back be back and brandon whitaker be back holding be back from fusion exchange tap it on the side then army gray and voodoo a little late run from a lot of wine there in the picture with crazy wild bill minute 11 Laurel Park summer schedule continues Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on a Thursday to Sunday basis through the final day of the Laurel Park summer meet on August 19th before the Maryland racing scene shifts to Timonium and Timonium races at the Maryland State Fair all the way through Labor Day. Then we'll be back here at Laurel Park. The full schedule at laurelpark.com, including information on our upcoming big day, Maryland Pride Day, Saturday, August 18th, laurelpark.com. Thanks for watching the Saturday program. We'll see you Sunday post time at 110.